What's up guys welcome back with another video in this video I'm going to review pixel plus UI official Android 12 for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 of course and this is another build and of course official so let's get it started first of all let me show you from the settings and here is the about section if we can see Android version of course 12 and pixel plus UI version 4.3 and here is the logo or tag whatever you want to say and device on client and this is the device maintainer name and really thanks to him for this build and we have February security update and kernel lineage plus of course and C Linux status permissive so build number is there and if you want to enable developer option just click several times on build number and you guys will get it and then we have system settings as usual pixel plus ui that means from pixel type so we don't have extra customizations but we have some extra customizations not so much as it is from pixel so here is the gesture language as an input uh, as it is pixel rom so we don't need to worry about any g apps and here is the live translate you guys can use and you guys can add so many languages up there according to your choice apart from this and we have here the gesture and of course we have navigation system here left edge and right edge and pill length you guys can uh, change the make, make it short or long whatever you want to say you guys can make it here is the pill button I am using here uh, which is a length and swipe to screenshot you guys can use this one and here is the one-handed mode if you want to use then you guys can use pull search into reach so if you want to enable just do like this and you can use a uh, one-handed mode easily no problem and if you want to minus this screen just swipe up and then we are done here then we have here rules multi pull users and developer options so here is the memory users people can see here and then we have Google digital well-being parental control and whatever and safety and emergency location privacy and security the most interesting thing is here we have finally face unlock let me show you here and here you can see face and fingerprint unlock then we have app lock so we got three system security which is really impressive and um, all are built in so no issues with that I'm using this from for last five or six days so I got great performance and experience so no issues with that and let me show you the face unlock working or not so I'm in front of the camera and it's unlocked so this is the way it's working no problem and app lock of course I'll show you app lock so let me show you uh, the magic so this is I locked magic so this is the lock and it confirms so here you can see the confirm button until I confirm it won't unlock so let me click and it's unlocked so this is the way it works which is really great and I already rooted my device and here is the Google Play Store and which is certified no issues with that and then we have location privacy security accessibility as usual you guys already know about that and of course we have wallpaper and style and you guys can change basic colors uh, according to your choice and wallpaper colors whatever you need and you guys can enable dark theme from here and themed icons if you enable dark theme it will be look like this so this is it and if you want to use themed icons then of course enable this one and here is the changing wallpaper system so many built-in wallpapers are there and here is the themed icons how it works and of course we have the widget as usual some uh, five clock widgets are there you guys can use no problem with that and after that we have the display settings as usual brightness adaptive brightness and of course live display working and here is the reading mode if you want to use reading mode then enable otherwise leave and here is the color calibration you guys can easily use red green and blue and whatever you need you can you guys can set if you have knowledge about the color grading then you guys can do that otherwise uh, don't touch 
and then we have sound and vibration system as usual all necessary customizations are there and here is the important thing we have vibration intensity you guys can enable and disable you guys can increase and decrease vibration intensity how you want uh, how you want uh, the intensity of vibration like haptic feedback which is really great and vibration and haptics you guys can enable and disable for ring notification and touch feedback whatever you need and then we have ring tones as usual and so power app volume control you guys can enable this feature for power app volume control if you need then enable otherwise leave it and the another important thing is adaptive sound and which really really great feature for devices this kind of low-end device and sound quality is really melodious which is really great I suggest you guys to use adaptive sound and which uh, actually makes sound quality better so you guys can use that one and we have uh, storage and battery and I found really great battery uh, when I didn't charge it for two days and view users for past 24 hours adaptive preferences if we can enable that thing and which is great and no issues no complaint with battery which is also great so after that we have notifications and then of course app settings if you guys can enable conversations bubbles whatever you need and clear recent conversation you guys can check your messages history here and you guys can clear like this if you want to clear so everything will be deleted and here is the app settings and you guys can enable disable your um, notification whatever you need and if you want to enable disable bubbles uh, like messenger you guys can do that and after that we have here the network section as usual we have all the necessary customizations like uh, we have Volti and preferred network so many network types are there you guys can choose according to your choice what you need and then of course we have a bit customization and which is pixelizer monet customization you guys can enable custom color by enabling that option and then we have use linear li lightness of course you guys can enable and then we have of course a status bar network traffic display and which is working without any problem uh, i am not using an internet right now so that's why uh, it's not showing when you use it will uh, be visible no problem with that and clock and date settings and I already um, did and here is the MPM and date, date style whatever date position you guys can change everything and show percentage battery percentage is here uh, top right corner and mic and camera privacy indicator you guys can enable that one and location privacy indicator if you want to enable then en uh, just enable this one if you enable this one you will get um, notification like this uh, when you open camera and here you guys can see on the top right here is the uh, green signal which is um, actually um, which application is taking your access from location or other permissions this is the way you guys can check by clicking there and after that we have pixelizer and quick settings as usual not so much customization you guys can add your customized footer text and then we have buttons as usual and lock screen and if you want force a small clock like we have bigger clock in android 12 like this we have bigger clock and if you want a small clock then enable this one and then let me show you so you guys can see on the top now it's small so then we have notification then we of course miscellaneous and of course we have a bit uh, a game turbo i already uh, uh, checked in while playing games and you guys of course play games no problem pubg mobile and i already installed in my device and i played and i used magix module to get a great frame rates so here is the module i already provided that video you guys can check that out and of course universal safety net fix if you want to root your device then so now let's talk about some basic things like uh, uh, safety net first so run the test and here you guys can see on the top now this is working traffic indicator without any problem and here is the basic integrity and series profile pass that means no issues with 
uh, safety net and then of course let me show you some screenshots uh, before that I want to show you Geekbench scores so let me open that and here is the history and which is really great for Android 12 uh, 267 1173 also great no issues with that and now let me show you the CPU throttling and I ran it for uh, two times here is the CPU throttle 87% and when charge was less than 50% or around 50% I checked at uh, that time I found 84 and 87 it increased so this is it this is the way it works and I'm using here the Google camera and working without any problem so you guys can use that thing which is also great and double tap to wake up is working without any problem you guys can use no problem with that so everything is just cool in that room no issues with that and if you want to use that room on your daily life you guys can easily use no problem and by default we have some customizations sorry not customization some applications like fm radio and files uh, and google chrome of course calculator uh, more networking without any problem as it is android 12 and we have that camera built-in camera and i don't recommend to use that one this is it and here you guys can see google assistant which is working fine without any problem you guys can use no issues with that and now let's talk about the smoothness of course I found great smoothness as it is pixel so this is really great and you can see the animations and uh, working without any problem so hope you guys understand the video and if you guys uh, like my work then of course do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching